So guys, real quick, I'm getting ready to do the oil filter dab dials, no big deal. Everybody's done a ton of these, right? But what I want to bring to y'all attention, I'm getting ready to take this off. And I see this a lot in the shops, guys. Guys grab the impact, they strong impact to take these bolts out. Guys, I'm against that, okay? I don't think you should do that. Do not use the impact to take those bolts off. Number one reason, these bolts, uh, they look like they're soft aluminum, okay? And number two, uh, you really should be using the E8, I think is the correct size. But you can get away with a quarter inch socket, okay? It's the same size, but do not use this, guys. Do not use the impact to take them off. What I suggest you do is use your regular hand ratchet like this and get in here and at least do the breaking, break them loose with a hand ratchet. Do not use the impact to break them loose. And from there, you can go speed to take them off, okay? But yeah, do not use the impact to take those off. Don't. Please don't, okay? You can strip those soft aluminum bolts, all right? All right, guys, the whole point of that video is just show you some of the steps I take to clean out the galley. I don't want to leave this full of oil and coolant. Yes, you're not going to be able to get it all out, but uh, I don't know. I did the best I could, guys. I wonder how you guys are doing it, okay? Please tell me y'all not leaving this galley full of oil and coolant. I know some of you guys just pile it down with rags and try to soak it all out, but and I don't expect everybody to get it this squeaky clean like that. I end up using brake cleaner, and I was able to suck it out using my Mighty, Mighty Vac, okay? This is the best I can get it, and I think that's pretty damn good. What y'all think? And tell me what y'all doing, okay? And I know all of y'all ain't perfect. I know everybody... Like I say, let me let me know in the comments what you guys doing, man. That's all I have, man. Hashtag shorts.